everyone. Um, I wanted to do a follow up. I couldn't help it. I, I couldn't stop uh, to this one. I wanted to see if I could make something a little nicer. And I think I did. Um, whoop. Accidentally got water on this one. Not good. Try to get that off there real quick. Just dab that off. There we go. The rest of it's dry. Um, I used um, the Tim Holtz set with the butterfly. I'm sorry. Like I said, I just got a my camera phone. Um, this die here comes with the set. I still got the butterfly in it. Um, I used that. Um, and I used a different type of paper this time. I used a double-sided uh, that I just picked up at the craft store here. Um, the Easy Cut Adhesive, it's double-sided. And I did that and used the die to cut out two separate um, pieces. And then I used the... Sorry, my craft table here um, is a mess. I used the Canson, I thought I was trapping words, the Canson Watercolor um, XL, and I used the uh, smooth side of it. Um, so I, I'm happy with that kind of paper. It does pretty good um, for, I guess, uh, for what I used it for. Anyway, I did the same process that I did with the other die on my other video that I showed with the color bursts. Um, this one I used the ultramarine blue and I'm trying to remember. Oh, the orange. Yeah, um, the orange in this one. And you can tell there's a little orange that's left there. Um, the more it dries, the more that I'm, I'm noticing after I hit it with the, the heat tool, um, the more the orange has kind of disappeared into the background. You can barely see just tiny hints of it. And then after I dried it, I used the set or the stamp from the same um, set I just showed you the Tim Holtz set um, and I used stays on I wanted to see if I could put it on after it dried the glitter I didn't know how it would do if I stamped it before um, I used the color burst and it, it gave it more of a old-fashioned look so either maybe next time and I, I don't mind how it turned out I think it turned out really nice you can see it um, depending on the light, it's more of a just old-fashioned, worn butterfly look. And then the the glitter, just the same ultra-fine glitter that I showed you earlier. Um, just really, really pretty. Um, probably um, some different things you could do is maybe before you glitter the paper, uh, stamp it with the stays on. Um, then glitter it or um, if you're afraid of losing some of the, the stickiness um, since this is um, sticky paper um, add the glitter before you do the color burst and then um, stamp before you do the glitter so another one that I did and I think this one turned out uh, the camera can't do it justice. Like I said, the, the coloring on these are fading a little more. Um, I was afraid to hit it too long with the heat tool because I was afraid that it would uh, make this um, tacky. Um, again, um, the glitter seems to be not coming off on my fingers at all. Um, I did the same thing with this one. After I got it dry so far, then I stamped on top of it with the stays on. And then I wanted to see what this would look like. Real jellies here. See if I, hopefully I didn't make it a, make a mess of it. I wanted to see how it turned out. Show everybody here. And I think it turned out pretty well. It looks like the glitter's staying real good. 
Um, like I said, the color's fading just a little bit, but um, that's okay. Um, like I said, this is take two on this, and it gives it a very old, I guess, old world kind of, oops, sorry, I was out of range, old world kind of feel to me. Um, just, like I said, antique old. Um, just really pretty. Uh, little, little bug. Um, I just, like I said, the video can't do it justice of, you can see the sparkle and the shimmer with it. Um, I think I'm going to try to add these to, um, some cards, die this, die cut this one out, see how it turns out. Um, maybe make a card in another video for you, um, to let you know, um, how they turned out. But I wanted to just show you that, like I said, the second time around, um, turned out pretty pretty good I used a smaller die I think that made the difference uh, like I said uh, the first one I think I may have been a little too ambitious the one thing I do note um, if you do try this technique um, be very careful about how wet you get your paper um, like I said this was really bright yellow the lemon yellow I used it was gorgeous um, then I got a little heavy-handed with the purple so when I was spraying I was really trying to um, spray it heavy with the water and I noticed that right here I think it was lifting up the glitter in the paper a little bit so be a little cautious about how much water you use and to give it if you notice here that the colors just kind of ran together and it's more blue and you notice more of the, the variegated here where it goes the purple down, the yellow, the purple yellow. Um, what I actually did, as you can tell on this paper, um, right there, sorry, trying to be behind the camera here. Um, when it was still wet, I picked it up and I wanted to run it down. Like I said, it was really, really wet. And I picked it up and let it down, right, um, let it run down, and it gave it more of it like an animal print look at the time, very stripy, and it was beautiful. And I was like hoping that the colors would stay um, that bright, as you can see in the background, how uh, bright these colors were. But that's okay, um, just for this to even work on glitter. Um, I'm happy with it. I mean, like, if you're wanting a card that has more of a very old, aged look, I think this is successful. Um, hopefully I, uh, made, uh, Ken Oliver proud on this technique. So, um, please tell me what you think, um, down below in the comments. Um, if you have any suggestions on what to do, like I said, I'm still teaching myself, um, card making and different techniques. So anyway, um, happy crafting. Thanks. Bye.